where did all the Thargoids go? The D2 merch store is open. There are t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, box and tote bags with many cool designs. Head down to the link in the video description and get yourself your merchandise today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous but down to Earth Astronomy. So a bit of an interesting development. As you can see here on July 11th, there was a Galnet article here stating that the Thargoids are withdrawing from all the core systems. It means they're pretty much running out of the bubble. This is quite interesting, especially because it happens right now. And today I just want to quickly talk about um, why I think that is and what kind of effect that will have on, uh, on the game itself. Now, first of all, we can of course try to open up the, uh, um, the galaxy map here. And um, if we go over and we just quickly go in here and we try to show show damage stations, that's actually already on. So we can see there are still stations here um, that are uh, that are damaged, and we of course have a ton that are being repaired. But it seems that um, the conflict zones have been removed from the systems as the Thargoids has been retreating out of the bubble. Now I do believe that we still have Thargoids down here in the um, in the Pleiades sector. Now, they are still around, but finding Thargoid scouts for hunting combat rank is going to be more difficult now. However, with the re recent uh, Interstellar Initiative, in the first week we were asked to deliver a lot of exploration data. And from that exploration data, there has been located a large source of meta-alloys or barnacle sites out here in the Witchhead Nebula. You can see it's not that um, that far out. Um, I believe it's like less than a thousand light years from... Um, um, from the bubble, so it's not too bad of a, of a trip. Um, and the current community goal, or current uh, installing initiatives, you can see there are several of them active here. There are, um, I, think I believe there's three of them active. Um, that is the Empire, the Federation, and the Alliance, all trying to get a presence out here in the Witchhead Nebula. So whatever faction you're working for, one or all of them, the more um, points they gain towards this, uh, this community goal, the more stations and mega ships they will put out here in the uh, Witcher Nebula, allowing us to have some basis of operation when we want to go out there to hunt meta alloys. Now, this has of course previously been a completely um, undiscovered source of meta alloys, and we know that meta alloys come from these barnacle sites that are seeded by the Thargoids. So we know the Thargoids are seeding planets in order to build these, and they're then harvesting them later on. So this is clearly a resource that they are um, that they have a need for. Now, what I think is interesting is the fact that we have suddenly, um, just as we began to discover this new area, and just as we're beginning to, uh, to move into that area, the Thargoids are retreating out of the bubble. It indicates to me that the main resource they're beginning must have been coming from the Witchhead Nebula. Now that we have located it, um, they suddenly feel threatened and they feel the need to pull back in order to defend um, some of their resources. It could also be that in this area in here between the, um, between the Witchhead Nebula and the Barnard's Loop, we of course have the Cult 70 sector, a much discussed section that has been um, permit locked for a very long time. It hasn't been that all, uh, all the time, but it was permit locked for some time ago. And it could also be that somewhere in the Cult 70 sector, as you can see right here in this area here between the Witchhead and the Barnard's Loop, that somewhere in that sector lies the Thargoid homeworld. And the fact that we are suddenly moving in here less than like just a couple of hundred light years away the Thargoids feel very threatened and they feel they have to stop their campaign inside uh, the human populated space and go back to uh, to defend the home front now it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when we begin to deploy assets into the witch at nebula now i have a sneaky suspicion what's going to happen is that it's going to be a Thargoid heavy combat zone basically like a, a proper war zone now, the, the war so far with the Thargoid has been Running a lot in the background, if you didn't really want to participate in it, then you could just not do it. Um, you could easily fly around the bubble without having to worry about uh, the Thargoids. Um, if you specifically went and looked for them, you could definitely find them. But if you didn't want to have anything to do with them, there was no problem. You could fly around without ever seeing a Thargoid. But now that we're going to see this moved out to the Witchhead Nebula, I th think and I hope that there come the 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 war is going to be a lot more fierce than it's been so far. So that the Wizard Nebula is going to be an area of space that's probably going to be a lot more difficult to maneuver around in because you might be hyperdicted a lot more often. Then you might even begin to see Thargoids um, attacking stations a lot more frequent. Um, 
stuff like that. A, a lot more conflict zones. Maybe they even got to add even uh, more and more difficult dark roads. But by putting it in one fairly small condensed area, you can ensure that the people who are really interested in it could get the um, the challenges that they need, um, which would be a little bit more difficult to do if you were to just do it in the bubble because you still had a lot of players who was not interested in uh, in the Thargoid narrative. Now, this is, of course, just my own guesses. I mean, we don't even know if the fact that the Thargoids are retrieving out of the bubble has anything to do with this interstellar initiative at all. Now, we know that this, of course, is focused around with the Thargoids because of the fact that we're looking for better alloys. But it seems unlikely that the Thargoids have been fighting us for so long and then, like, pretty much, like, one day after we discover a large source of meta alloys in the Witcher Nebula, then suddenly they begin to all disappear at once in one big mass retreat. The official um, explanation in the Galnet article is that it is due to the uh, resistance they have met from uh, from humans and the numbers they have lost in, uh, in the bubble when they were fighting us. But it seems... Um, it seems too unlikely that the, the Interstellar Initiative and the fact that we're moving into the Witches Nebula has nothing to do with the fact that the Thargoids are now retrieving out of the bubble. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to happen, especially when we begin to see some stations out there, how long they will have to, they will be allowed to stay out there before the Thargoids begin to, um, um, to attack. So um, stay tuned, I will definitely keep you guys updated. I hope you liked today's video, if you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.